Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle channel. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, vlog on the latest travel news worldwide, part one. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to breakingtravelnews.com, I have got 10 fantastic brand new travel facts that are the latest travel news so I'm going to fire away uh, with number one which is Ethad Airways um, is to launch charter flight service that uh, basically a fully custom all business and leisure guests can choose from a variety of flight options including, including dedicated passenger service and uh, cargo only flights or a combination of passenger and cargo package is so that so wow i hope that takes off for ethad airways um fingers crossed and uh, number two east midlands airport in the uk so it sees a uh, cargo record demand uh, the largest the largest pure cargo airport in the uk saw 41,613 tons of goods arrive in november and increased uh, an increase of 26 percent on last year with far fewer holiday flights due to covid19 cargo demand increased so um at least the airport is better benefiting from cargo demand and just say that keeps it open now number three is Narkeel uh, prepares for New Year's Eve on Palm Jumeirah as Dubai prepare, uh, prepared to welcome in the new year master developer Narkeel excuse my pronunciation has um initiated the wrath of of a manage of potential increase in traffic on palm jamaya hotel and resort so um good luck i hope there's an increase in traffic um in regards of customers so good luck to dubai and and Narkil uh, for that and um, number four Qatar Airways expands code share deal uh, with Omen Air um, so that's really good news for both Omen Air and Qatar Airways um, Again, I wish you all the best, uh, both of them the best in the future. And um, number five, Six Senses launch a new mobile app for travellers. So that's really good news for travellers and Six Senses um, hotels. Um and number six, um, Abu Dhabi reopens border to international travellers. Yay! That's really good news um, for uh, people that want to travel to Abu Dhabi from different countries around the world. Um, of course, uh, are eligible to travel. Um, and... Number seven, hospitality sector welcome Brexit agreement. So I really hope it works well for the hospitality sector. sector. Uh, fingers crossed. And um, number eight, Lufthansa prepares for COVID-19 uh, vaccine distribution role. 
so again good luck for the vaccine and to lift lift the ones at german airlines and um, number 10 uk bars entry to south africa travelers unfortunately over the covid 19 fears um again it's a shame but we uh, obviously we need to keep the country and the people in our, our country as safe as as possible so hopefully um when uk have um got um the numbers of covid cases right down hopefully south africa travelers will be welcome back and um, into the uk fingers crossed and uh, number 10 new flights at, to morocco to be launched in february this year so wow that's really good news and um, so that's very exciting for both morocco and um at for the uk as well so fingers crossed uh, for both countries and um, it goes as well as possible so i would like to say to everybody thank you for watching please uh, subscribe to my channel it's the red and white subscription button and um, also click the notification bell i upload at least five times a week i'm also looking to get as soon as possible to 2000 subscribers so please keep the, those subscriptions coming in and um i would like to say i'm going to be doing a lifestyle video um tomorrow and it's going to be products um that i've got at Christmas time so um, for my travel channel um, I'll be back on Wednesday with the latest travel news worldwide part two so again please keep watching and um, have a fantastic time wherever you are in the world and uh, please stay safe and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.